Welcome to Broad Strokes, Fortune show where we talk about the news that matters to women. So Anne, I think we should talk about Thinks this week. So Thinks is a company most people know as the period underwear company, and it has gotten a lot of coverage this week and none of it good. It's all bad. Yeah, so Mickey Agarwal, who is the founder and until recently the CEO, is actually um, being sued for sexual harassment. So let's talk a little bit about this sexual harassment uh, claim. So this is really different than a lot of the sexual harassment claims we've talked about before here, um, often brought by women against men. Um, so basically some of the things uh, that this employee is saying happened is that Agarwal grabbed her breasts, she undressed in front of people, she talked about yeah. sex and asked employees about their sex life. Right. She um, in implied that she was opening open to having sex with employees or like having sexual relations or a polyamorous amorous relationship. Just a lot of stuff that was wildly inappropriate for the boss to be talking about. I mean, I think that this is an important for uh, important thing for us to be thinking about sexual harassment in a, in really a, a broader way. Um, sexual harassment is not always about sex. Yeah. Um, and in this case, specifically, this employee is saying she didn't feel like Agarwal wanted to have sex with her, but she felt like this was a power dynamic um, and, and a way to sort of control her. And, and I think that happened you know, not just in cases like this, but more broadly. In other depressing news, there's a study that came out recently that showed that while younger women felt really good about their careers, they wanted to make it to the C-suite, if they didn't make it by a certain age, their ambition dropped way off. Yeah, I mean, I thought this was, first of all, it feels true to me. You know, you come into your career, there are all these opportunities, you're excited. And when those things don't play out for you, it's understandable that people's ambition flags. So for me, this is just a sign that we, and more importantly, employers, need to work harder to push women um, beyond that sort of like middle manager level and, and help get them to where, where they want to be in their careers. Yeah, exactly. And I feel like in certain ways, this is sort of like the quantitative evidence of the glass cliff existing. You know, as soon as people sort of almost got at the C-suite but didn't quite get there, um, they felt like giving up. So finally this week, I think we need to talk about Neil Gorsuch, who is a Supreme Court nominee. He's currently in his Senate hearings. Um, and we're learning a little bit more about him, although not much. Yes, I think there is a huge question mark over exactly how Neil Gorsuch would rule on women's issues. But one piece of information we do have is his ruling in the Hobby Lobby case. Hobby Lobby did not want to provide contraception coverage, insurance coverage to women. Um, he ruled that they had the religious freedom uh, and protection to not have to provide that coverage. Right, and as you said, that's one of the few places where he actually has ruled. He has not ruled on any case related to abortion. And so for people who are concerned about Roe versus Wade, that's obviously a huge thing. Um, some people are looking at a book that he wrote about assisted suicide, where he said essentially, you know, no individual should take a human life. Um, and they are reading that as an anti-abortion statement. Right, and another thing I think people are concerned about is a story, it hasn't been confirmed, Gorsuch denies it, but a former law student of his said that in a class, he implied heavily that women often take advantage of companies for maternity leave and maternity benefits and then quit. Yeah, I mean, as you said, we don't know if this is true. He, he has said it is not, but he said that in his hearing where he was also asked, you know, okay, fine. So do you think it's illegal for a company to ask a woman, but not a man, you know, are you planning to have children soon before you hire them? Um, and he would not say it was illegal. He said it's inappropriate. You don't believe it's prohibited? Senator, it sounds like a potential hypothetical case it might be a case or controversy I might have to decide, and I wouldn't want to prejudge it sitting here at the confirmation table. I can tell you it would be inappropriate. Right, and it's a little irrelevant what he thinks is appropriate or not because he is such a literal interpreter of the law. Ultimately, that's all that's going to matter. Yeah. Well, assuming he's confirmed, we will find out. Uh, unfortunately, that's all the time we have this week on Broad Strokes. Come back next Friday for another episode on Fortune.com.